Unlike in Spanish bullfighting in Portugal, the men are barehanded and the bull lives to fight another day. Just imagine facing half a ton of meat on the hoof. It certainly takes some training. Portuguese bullfighting originated in these fields where there are as many bulls as olive trees. But today it's a cow that has the place of honor because the forcados are practicing in the hacienda's bullring. The cow is captivated. Well, he's a little bit distracted. He's trying to catch its attention again. Now there, the cow is going to charge. It's charging. Now they've locked together. The head assistant comes in, and then the seconds come and lift the cow's head to close the hole. The cow can't move, and that's a pega. It's Corita Day at Evora. You can feel the town's pulse. The pressure rises as the bull rings buzz and fill by the hour. Several kilometers from here, far from the noises of the town, the Montemore group enjoys a moment of calm before the storm. They reassure and encourage one another. Rodrigo is a master at motivation. He's chosen eight from among his 26 forcados to go into the bull ring. What is most important is that the head forcado knows what he's doing and his seconds, well, they're also very important. They have to expose themselves. They put their necks out and they show what it is to dominate a bull. These eight have the immense honor of defending the group's colors. Each gesture, repeated hundreds of times, help them concentrate. Despite the pressure, a forcado must neither falter nor tremble. The forcados get their name from this stick, which was once used to protect the king from any possible attacks from bulls. Today the king is the bull, an enraged animal weighing more than half a ton. It's a ball of nerves that's been worn out a bit by a horseman before it comes into the ring with the forcados. This is Evora's first bullfight and Z Miguel, the head forcado's first pega of the year. There's a lot of pressure that he will have trouble handling. Z Miguel, last season's best forcado, is struggling. He wasn't able to lodge himself between the bull's horns and make it lower its head. He fails his pega and has to face the raging bull again. Rodrigo encourages his friend who is visibly upset and helps him to concentrate. Z Miguel captures the bull's attention before provoking it. The head helper, just behind him, lines the group up and gets ready for the attack. This pega is a success. Z Miguel hasn't let go despite the violent crash. The group helped him overpower the bull. Meanwhile, backstage, the bulls wait their turns in their boxes. Paolo knows them well. He watches them before each fight so that he can advise Rodrigo. They have to remain isolated. A bull that is outside its natural habitat is a bull that becomes violent and aggressive, a bull that wants to fight. It's only silence and darkness that enable it to be calm. This bull has an enormous neck. You can get an idea of its strength from its neck, from its build. And a bull that has such a large neck is a bull with a lot of strength in its head. This former forcado no longer goes into the ring ever since a bull put him into a coma for two days. When the doors open, the bull is blinded by the light, overexcited by the surrounding noise and frightened by the unusual place. It's an extremely dangerous animal on the defense if it rushes out into the ring. Jaime has just found out that he is to be head for Cato. Rodrigo's last-minute decision prevents his chosen for Cato from becoming nervous before he goes on. Jaime tries to direct the bull so that he can slide between the horns. Sticking his legs in the air like this means it has been an extraordinary pega. A truly perfect figure represented so well by Portuguese painters. And the bull can also be proud of its performance. 
Here there's no winner and no loser. The bull is a noble animal. He's as frightened of being in the bull ring as we are. No one loses, no one wins. But it's our passion for Portuguese bullfighting that counts. To thunderous applause, Jaime does a lap of honor. There's no doubt that such a beautiful corrida will make many young people want to be bullfighters. Even though his father is dead against it, Diego dreams of going into the ring. He already has the stature and the determination. He's preparing himself, but for the moment, he'll just be sticking to a wooden bull. Okay, you're grounded. No more bullfighting till you've learned to surf better. Listen to your papa. Mm -hmm.